Yo, what's going on everybody? Servo here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the ancient vacuum and see what the heck that thing actually does. Now if you guys do find this video helpful at all, please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get right into it. So to get to the ancient vacuum, you have to unlock the little time bending table and you're going to have to upgrade your hourglass, your little staff right here up to level one, which I did. It was 5,000 mist. So you would just click on this, upgrade it. You get the, the time bending bench by doing the Jafar quest line. It doesn't take long and you'll have access to this. So after you unlock it, you get your staff to level one, then you will have access to ancient machines. So we have the basic ancient cooker, which will let you auto cook stuff. I have a video on that I just made. So the link to that will be uh, down below. And we also have the ancient gardener. But today we're going to make the basic ancient vacuum. It's going to cost you 2000 mist, two ancient cores. These are actually very rare to get. You only get them through treasures after you upgrade your hourglass to rank one. Once you upgrade it, you will then be able to get a chance whenever you're hunting treasures to actually get one of these. They're a very rare item, so they're pretty hard to farm up. And then you need three ancient magnets and three belts. These are also just treasures that you can find around the valley. So let's go ahead and craft one of them. And let's take a look at see what this thing does. All right, let's go ahead and get some of our resources back. Uh, pretty much what we just spent. And then I'm, I think this would probably be down in utilities, right? Yeah, here we go. Okay, so we have this. It's like a little glow. Oh, it's like beautiful. Let's see what it says. Ancient vacuum. The ancient vacuum scans an area in a biome for night thorns and splinters of fate. Upgrade it to detect even more. It's like a little little Roomba. Is, is that what they're called? Like the little thing that you put in your house and it like zooms around and cleans up for you. Select the desired items and collect them from a single location. No way. So it auto collects items. So you can place it down next to a tree spawn or uh, where like some flower spawns and it automatically collects them or even night thorns. Hold up. Let's we got to check this out. It already collected something for me. The little splinters of fate. Hold up. Let's collect that. It costs 10 mist to collect one item. It just gave me my gold from it and it obviously didn't put it in my inventory because you can't collect them so it just gave me what it would have taken and i actually placed it down so let's try this let's take it and let's move it over to something there's a lot so there's like a bunch of stuff here so if i place it down here let's see if it's going to collect that stuff i'm going to exit out and it didn't get rid of them let me go check the inventory though it shows 17 of the splinters of fate. How large is the AOE for this though? Because it's got to be pretty big because there's one, two, um, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's like a lot of crystals. It's acting like it's pulling them from everywhere. So if I wanted to collect all 17, it's going to take 170 of these. Is that worth it? And it even goes into your collections. Like I'm still doing my milestones here. So I got 150. Okay, this is interesting. And it got rid of all of these in this giant radius. So it's actually pretty dang big. It didn't get rid of this stuff here though. All right, let's try some other stuff. Let's put it... If I put it right here, it's probably going to collect these little flowers. You know what? We're going to take it back to my little um, Forest of Valor where I have all of my fruit and stuff and see if that will collect it. So we go on this and it's not going to collect the flowers. Interesting. Nothing to claim. All right. Back into our inventory we go and we're going to teleport back over to the Forest of Valor. Okay, we have all of this stuff here. Let's go back down to utilities. Pull it out. We'll put it right here. And see what it's going to collect. I, I thought it was going to move around at first. 20 night thorns. Okay, so it seems like it's really just pulling. Instead of you going around and burning your stamina, it's going to collect all of the night thorns in this area. It looks like it's all of them in this entire biome, which is actually crazy. But it's not collecting any wood or anything like that. Unless I just don't have any wood. Let me see. 
Let me drop some down really quickly. Okay, we're gonna drop a piece of wood. It's on the ground. Is it gonna pick it up? No, it's still just the night thorns. So if we wanna collect all 20, it's gonna take 200 of this, but it's collecting all 20 night thorns at once. It actually gave me memories from it. I got two of them for collecting it. And then I'm getting other resources for collecting those items. It also completed some of my star path duties for do some magical weed removal, 30 of them, and then finish some royal work. So this is making our star path grind a lot easier with just one of these. Let me go ahead and collect that one. All right, so we can finally get really lazy around our valley and not have to worry about it. I love this thing so much. The fact that it does the entire biome is insane gone are the days where we have to collect night thorns all right so i may regret this because i'm burning through all my night thorns that i may need look at all these sticks i was hoping it would pick that up now there are us also like different tiers to this it's not just the this one there's level two vacuum and level three so that may be begin to like go and get you know sticks and things like that i'll make a more advanced guide later on this is just to get you started so look how many night thorns I have in this biome. So I'm going to place that down and we are going to head over there. Let me um, teleport. This is going to burn through your mist though. It'll definitely be better later on when you have a lot more to spare. Let's see. I have like what 30 something over here at least a uh, 19. Okay. 19. Let's see how far the range is. So 190. We're going to click on this. Watch them disappear. There they go. The entire biome cleaned up in a second and the resources that they would have dropped. Got another memory. Oh my gosh. This thing is in giving me gold coins. Come on. Come on. What the heck? All right. I don't want to burn through any more of my night thorns. All right. So the ancient vacuum, let's go back here. It says the ancient vacuum scans an area in a biome for night thorns and splinters of fate. Upgrade it to detect even more types. Okay, so we were right. Once we get level two, it will then start collecting all rocks, all dirt, all sticks, all herbs, everything. It'll collect them and put them in this inventory. So we will not have to go around collecting anything. I could go over here to the the this biome, drop it down, and it will suck up literally all the sticks all of the flowers this is the greatest thing that they have ever added into the game and then after you're done with it you can just pick it up put it in your inventory and we can even go and take it over to eternity isle let's go to um let's go to the plains yeah i haven't been over there in a while i don't know if there's any splinters of fate over here oh yeah there's a lot oh man this is so epic let's go back to utilities drop it down it's gonna get expensive with the mist though Click on that. I have 50. I have 50 splinters of fate. It's going to take 500. Collect it. <laughs> oh, I just got 1,500 of that. No way. I spent 500, but I got 1,500. I would have got more, I guess, if I did it by myself. But being lazy is kind of fun, too. I'm not going to lie. Well, there you guys have it. It's definitely... And it, an incredible item. I don't even think I'm like overhyping this just to over overhype it. Like it is a fantastic item. I never would have expected them to add something like this. And let's go take a look at um, rank two really quickly. So yeah, we just have the rank one. And then if we want rank two, we are going to have to get 10,000 of this to upgrade it. And uh, we'll go and get the regular ancient vacuum. So I will be making a video on that later on just to uh, share it with everybody. But let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this. I think it's absolutely incredible. And um, the the uh, cooker is also so, so amazing. If you want to check that out, check the video out in the description of this one. It is definitely worth a watch. But thank you guys so much for watching the video. I hope you have a really wonderful day. I hope you learned something. And if you did, you know what to do for me. Thank you so, so much. And I'll see you in the next one.